the celebration. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Alright, welcome back YouTubers and Madden fans, this is Mad Money Shop, bringing you some more gameplay footage. Still got the top three cards. I don't want to spoil, make any, you know, spoil any surprises, but my team is looking jacked uh, going forward in the future. Uh, and a large portion, portion of that is due to some weekend league rewards that I've been getting. Uh, but like I said, I don't want to ruin that. So, you know, in future gameplay though, you're going to see some very different cards. And I, I, the reason I don't want to ruin that because I actually want to do uh, introductions to each player. Um, kind of like I did with the Richard Sherman. I want So if you guys saw that video or you want to see more videos like that, or more just more gameplay, do me a favor, hit the like button, and I'll always do that to, to try to make you guys happy, to try to entertain, because this is definitely, I mean, I love, you know, obviously I play a lot of games, so it's nothing for me to edit them and talk over them after the fact. So, this guy right here, first, our second play, uh, doesn't work out. I see a single high safety, and I'm trying to get this one play touchdown going. As you can see here, he comes off, spooks me a little bit, and I just chuck it up without setting my feet, and I don't get it. I try to get this one play touchdown several times throughout the game, uh, and I'll try to pop a link for that, for that video, if you guys didn't see that. Uh, it's one of my more common one play touchdown videos that I use probably the most uh, as you can see here in the next play he comes in and user sacks me uh, you know the guy didn't have a very good looking team but he definitely plays hard right at the beginning um, to make it a game for sure as you can see um, he gets the ball I, I, I punt it away because you know uh, it's too early in the game to go for it a lot of people like to go for it in these weekend leagues but at fourth and 13 I'm not going to go for it so then he this guy look at man he's using Adrian Peterson like like a, like a monster I mean I got the same Adrian Peterson but I don't make him look that good I got to be honest I use the Cohen more than anything my tree Cohen uh, most feared speed guy um, to be honest so he's got a Vic too I mean I don't know you know he must have the lower rated cards but they're still really good like if he's got like the 84 Vic or something he's still really fast he's got Randy Moss uh, I don't know if it's like the the, the goat uh, or the, like the Nat Goat Moss as you can see there my man Ray Lewis that's my goat uh, 85 overall Ray Lewis who I don't even have anymore and I don't want to ruin who I traded him in for um, but, but uh, I definitely upgraded. So here, my offense, you know what I'm saying? I could have just, I could have cut up inside there. I don't know why I was trying to go so wide. That just didn't work out at all. So second and 10, uh, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to hit this outside route. Uh, I use that play so much. That's such a good play. Uh, Mike Wallace, that Mike Wallace is the, uh, the team leaders, Mike Wallace. He's still really doing a good job. A really good slot option. Uh, as you can see here, then I get a, I get an opportunity to convert and I'm getting sacked again. So this guy's getting all the pressure in the world on me, uh, sacking, sacking the hell out of my quarterback. Um, here he tries to hit the screen and I just happened to be in that area. I was trying to rotate over instead of my defense and I got stuck on Atwater who luckily was already in the in the area and uh, I saw, you know, once you see the lineman pulling, you pretty much know what the deal is. So second and 12, he's running a hurry up. Whenever a play goes poorly for you, it's really kind of weird to run a hurry up. Uh, it just makes more sense to go back to the drawing board. So there you go, third and 12 as, as uh, Cam Chancellor knocking the ball away uh, in the deep third. Um, and now here he's stepping up with, uh, with like I said, I think he has Vic. Um, who obviously is a, you know, any card, any Vic card is going to be probably 80 plus speed. So I got to keep an eye out for that. But fourth and one, going for the hurry up again. Um, you know, maybe he sees something on the defense that he likes. If he was going to pound the ball, I could understand it. Instead, he tries to throw it and the dudes just cross into each other and he doesn't catch it. So a little bit of Madden BS going my way. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take advantage of that. This play here, I put my uh, my fastest running back at the fullback spot, and it makes that play so much cheesier. Then, uh, second and one, this is an Adrian Peterson type of day. As you can see, he just busted up inside. Forces a strict two hip pump limit. There's one, there's two. Third pump and a flag. And uh, makes a nice run to the end zone from about 10 yards out. I mean, that's not, I'm not expecting that result every time. I just wanted to get the first. And he's just, he's having a day, man. So then you can see I'm sending some crazy blitzes. Anthony Barr, um, he was my, for a while there, he was like the best linebacker on my team. Um, like I said, I want to ruin the surprises because I want to introduce some of my newer players. But uh, Anthony Barr rode the pine for a little while and he's back out there. He is just so good. He's this, that's once again the team leader. I have so many natural, um, so many natural cards. It's not even funny. Nice big 
hit stick by Richard Sherman. That dude right there, um, you know, pretty good hit by, I guess, for, for a corner. But the, the fumble animations just never happen in this game anymore. It's just, Unless it's a quarterback running, you just don't see fumbles. And I don't know. I don't think it's because people are using the conservative um, the conservative uh, adjustment, the coaching adjustment, but it is what it is. So here he's taking off. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna switch over user and whatever. I don't. I don't think I really did anything there as far as like hit sticking them, but the ball comes out. You can't run around forever, especially with guys like Vic. So here on a first and ten, this play right here. I just put this play out in a scheme. Some sort of pretend celebration, and now he's lassoing McCringleberry. But where's the rope? I don't see the rope, Jim. He's miming, Dick. He's drawing McCringleberry in, who shimmies out of the rope, throws it over a pretend tree limb, and. Frontier Justice. Uh, part two is actually going to come out tomorrow. As you can see, I get a nice big touchdown there. It's about 17 yards. That's just such a guaranteed play. It's just such, a, it's just such an easy play. Uh, the, the running backs just never covered. You get a catch and run pretty much every time. So second and nine. This guy's running a hurry up. I missed the extra point too, by the way, which does not end up really mattering too much. But um, it's embarrassing, and I didn't, <laughs> I didn't put it out there. So here he bombs it up deep middle. I don't know what that play was. Uh, like I say, he's got that Randy Moss making a big play and he keeps it a game right there um, as I'm only up by six I mean this guy he definitely makes a lot of big plays a lot of splash plays but you got to be consistent bro so here we got uh, Cohen he is like by far he's one of the reasons I just won't go out and buy a better back like I could afford better running backs as you can see I'm trying to get that one play touchdown one more time I promise I'll get it and when I get that one play touchdown I will pop a link to it so you guys can see how to get it too uh, but you can see he's just I mean I don't know he must be doing conservative or adjustments to um you know, uh, QB can tank adjustments because he's every time I step outside, I'm running into trouble. Uh, as you can see, here, throwing off my back foot. Good play, though. Uh, Evan Ingram, man, he is just, if you want a budget beast tight end, he is the man. As you can see right here, I'm throwing it right up the middle. Safe catching, Dante Moncrief. Um, you know, that's that's just, I think that was an adjustment I saw pre-snap. So I'm going to go, and I'm going to run a hurry up because there's only about 50-some seconds left. Um, I, I don't really... Uh, you know, and then I also have three timeouts, so I want to actually catch him off guard here. He's got a pretty pass-heavy defense. I'm gonna go ahead and run up the gut. Only get a couple of yards, but you got to keep your opponent honest. I mean, I have all the time in the world. We'll call a timeout. Um, then I'm gonna go ahead. I mean, this play right here, man. This is I'm, I'm hitting him for some big catch and run plays. And they appear to be barbecuing the ball. Yeah, Pringleberry supplying the flames is. Uh, we gotta go for two because, like I said, I missed an extra point, and I'm gonna hit him with this toss play. A lot of people aren't expecting this goal line play. It's one of the better goal line offensive plays. People just don't expect that toss. Now he's eating it. Here it is. Yeah, the ref's going for the flag, but it's to offer it to McCringleberry who dabs his mouth. And there's the penalty. It's, it's funny, and even if they do expect that toss, they really can't commit to it because then they leave the, the middle of the field wide open, which people don't really want to do. So, showing you a kickoff because this guy here is like the kickoff master. Uh, pretty much, pretty much the best things he does in this game. Like I said, he has a lot of big plays, but pretty much the best things he does in this game are his kick returns, which is which is funny. I guess I just can't cover kicks. Uh, so it is what it is. He's throwing it up now, which is not going to work. I mean, you can't just bomb it up on me. You know what I'm saying? He's got about 10 seconds left in the half, and he's just trying to make something happen. And the next thing you know, I don't know why he quick throws it. Maybe he thought something was there, but I got my boy Joe Hayden. Uh, try to shake and bake Vic, but it's a little bit late. It's all good though. Two seconds left. I'll take that extra, take that point. You know what I'm saying? I got, I just that pick alone puts me up essentially three possessions and pretty much seals this game he almost comes through though a lot of people don't get those blocks uh, up the middle like that typically everybody tries to go wide but he he somehow got that uh got that almost up the middle so like i said this guy right here he has a lot of really good kick returns as he stretches me out he goes all the way to the outside then watch this move oh my good what the Shit is that? I have four guys just fumbling, flying around. Maybe it's me. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't think that um, I, I probably missed with one of those tackles, but damn, four guys all missing. That's a crazy animation. Uh, Got to remember that move. That's just—I think that's just a regular spin move with the by holding the LT. But um, this guy definitely put on a crazy duke. Uh, second and fourteen. Like I said, if you if you lose yards, why do you want to hurry up? That doesn't typically work out. So I'm still sending a, a, a nice pressure, and uh, Aaron Donald gets in. And now look at this. Third and twenty-three. Why do you not just go to the? <laughs> you must really have faith in the play you called, or you must like see a huge advantage, which I don't see. Uh, because I'm in a nickel <laughs> nickel formation and he's I'm dropping back and he's just gonna go ahead and chuck it up and get picked off. So that was not the best series to start the second half. This guy here, you know what I'm saying? I understand the score it kinda dictates your pace, uh, being that you're down so much, but that's just stupid. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna try to seal the deal here. I wanna close this game out. I wanna make this guy quit. 
going the opposite way, one play touchdown, Dante Moncrief. There's a little quick hot potato with the ball. Yeah, he's cooling off the hot game ball. That's a new way to spike the ball. There it is, like I said, watch that link if you want to see how to do that. I might actually get another one. As you can see, this game is turning into a complete route. Uh, but like I said, I pull out the one-play touchdown because in weekend leagues, you only get so much time to do all these weekend league games. So I'm trying to get somebody to quit. And then, like I said, this guy here is the kick return master, man. <laughs> he just keeps getting great field position. Uh, but his offense just can't really uh, complete it. As you can see here, he's going to gonna try to uh, make something happen. So uh, not a great stat line for Michael Vick. Three interceptions. He's got 110 yards on only five completions, though. So he's getting some big plays. But sometimes you got to be a little bit consistent, which this guy definitely is not being. Consistency, consistency is key as you can see here i come almost come up with the user alert with the dt i just put out a video where i had two dt user alerts in one game uh, and you can see there i almost get another one I'll, I'll lurk it with the dt i mean they don't always catch uh, but i'll definitely be in the air to knock that ball down i mean that i only really use it the dts when i'm trying to set up blitzes and uh you know that's just just how i set up one of them and there's a blitz uh, that works out aaron donald man he does not typically have good games <laughs> two sacks in this game so that guy must have a pretty weak interior line but um, i've actually upgraded past him too he was one of the more disappointing cards that i've had all year i thought i took him as my my uh, my regular elite and i think like the first couple of weeks he did okay uh, but after that he really did crap so here he's floating it up my man richard sherman most feared sherman with the second pick of the game for him i mean he's just you know my defense is just loaded with ballers here i'm going the other way i try to conf confuse him because uh, I, I don't even know what that was. Like, he, like I, I didn't even, you see, I didn't even attempt to fake it. Like, I just thought he took a bad angle. And I think I ran inside there because I don't want to score. I mean, I just want this game to be over. I just want to run clock because it's pretty obvious if you're not quitting by now, you're not going to quit. And I think at some point, this is just bad etiquette. Barry. Asking for a moment while he finishes whatever he's doing, with the ref not amused. He is. As you can see here, I just take it outside Pearson. Look at the tackle. I mean, it's to the point like your your, your play indicates that you've quit, so just quit and let me get on to my next game. You know what I'm saying? He's still trying to make something happen. As you can see here, uh, I don't know what he thinks he's going to do. I guess he thinks he's going to score like three touchdowns at once because there's no way with this amount of time you're running a hurry up too. Like this game is still like this game's in doubt. It's not in doubt. The game's over. Just quit. 38-7. Guy's still rolling around. Now he's going to chuck it up. Up, and look at that another pick user lurk uh, with Ray Lewis I love Ray Lewis in this game and last year I was in love with um, with Sean Taylor oops and I'm hoping that maybe an oops Sean Taylor comes out because he was really a great card uh, that was my user middle linebacker for most of the year but but Ray Lewis is definitely the man so here uh, we're backed up third and 12 and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna throw a 96 yard touchdown and he's gonna celebrate with a big old bounce around that bouncy castle to my man Evan Ingram. Like I said, if you need a budget beast, this guy I bought like days, before, like the day before weekend league, and he's just such a monster. That play right there too, by the way, is just um, I've I've done that a million times. That play is so deadly up the middle against cover twos, um, and it's just you can see how effective that is. So 45 to seven. What is this guy's deal? You know what I'm saying why? And now you're running the ball too. Like if you really think you have a chance, I think you need to bury the run plays, genius. Uh, but like I said, this is just at this point it's just bad etiquette. Just quit because I can get on to my next game. And uh, this is just annoying. And you're running hurry up, too, which makes the game even longer. You know what I'm saying? So fourth and one. He's going for it. Last-ditch effort. Knocks the ball away. And luckily, this guy has some sense to call it a game. Uh, probably one of the biggest whoopings in weekend league history, I would imagine. Unless somebody's ever hung up like 100 on somebody. Uh, but that's it. If you guys want to see more gameplay footage, do me a favor to like button. I'll do that. Other than that, thanks for watching Mad Money Shit Out. If you need more help or just want to share your support, then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.